Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use the password protected categories plugin to lock down parts of your portfolio on any WordPress website. So here we've got a normal WordPress website which has a portfolio. Uh, this particular website was created using the Avada theme and um, which comes with its own custom post type for portfolio. But the method I'm going to show you in this tutorial will work with any type of portfolio in WordPress so long as you had each portfolio as a separate post, whether it's a custom post type called portfolio or a normal post or whatever, and it's divided into categories. The key thing is that it has hierarchical categories where you can tick one or more boxes to put your portfolio projects into a category. Um, if you can do that on your website, then this tutorial will work for you. So here's my test site. It's just got a few portfolio items in it. Um, it's just a normal public portfolio at the moment. So I've got my portfolio category page. And if I want to, then I can click through to view the single portfolio item page, which has more information about the project. So pretty typical stuff. Um, and most portfolios in WordPress are structured in this way. So let's go to the WordPress admin and I'm going to show you how to create a private section within this public portfolio. Uh, it's also possible to create a completely private portfolio and there's a separate video for that as well. But in this tutorial, we're going to add a password protected section within a public portfolio. You might want to do that if, for example, you've got most of your projects, your clients have given you approval to publish, but you've got a few that are a bit more sensitive and you only want to show them to specific people who um, are allowed to access that content. So let's go to the WordPress admin. So this is a normal WordPress website and um, the plugin you need to implement this technique is called Password Protected Categories, which is one of our plugins from Bantu Media. So you can ignore most of the plugins on this site. The one you want is Password Protected Categories. And you also need some way of creating portfolio posts on your website. Like I said, you could do that with portfolio post type provided by your theme, portfolio plugin, or you could even just use posts um, if you wanted to have your portfolio items as posts within specific categories uh, or something like that. So all of that is going to work with this password protected categories. The important thing is that you have categories. So my portfolio custom post type has categories. If you were using normal posts, it's got categories. So all those categories work with this plugin. Now I've installed and activated the plugin and what we're going to do is go to the settings page. So once you've installed it, you'll see a settings link here. You can also access that through the settings menu. So it's settings, protected categories. And you can see I've activated my license key already. You need to do that before the plugin will work. And there's various settings. You can choose how long the password will remain valid for each person before they have to re-enter it. I've got it as one day. Um, it's also show protected. This is a useful option because it lets you control whether or not your password protected portfolio categories and posts will appear in the public section of your portfolio. So you might have a main portfolio page that lists all your portfolio posts. If you tick this box, then your password protected portfolio post will also appear on that page. But when people click them, they will then be asked to enter a password before they can view the single portfolio post. Uh, I would leave this unticked for most password protected portfolios because the whole point is it's confidential. If you tick this box, then people will be able to see the name of the project, for example, and simply that might be confidential. So usually I recommend you would leave that unticked and hide it from the public part of your portfolio. The login form is the page that will be used for to allow people to enter the password to unlock your protected portfolio items. So I've written some standard text here, login required, enter your password to unlock our private portfolio. You can put whatever you want here and there's various other ways that you can customize that. So I'll click save changes. And next we're going to actually create the password protected portfolio category. To do that, you need to go to the categories editor for your portfolio. 
So on my site, it's portfolio, portfolio categories. Yours might be somewhere else, but it should look something like this, which is the standard layout for hierarchical text taxonomies as they're called in WordPress. What that means is it's categories that you can have um, multiple levels of and that's um, what we're going to use. So I've got a public portfolio category already and what I want to do is create a password protected portfolio. So let's call it protected portfolio category. Call it what you want of course. And then what you want in the visibility section is to click password protected. And let's call it password 987, that will do. Um, obviously use something more secure. And if you want to, you can add more password. So you can add as many passwords as you want. You might want to do that if, for example, you want each person to have their own password for your portfolio. You might have, for example, a potential client that you're currently speaking with and you want to show them a, um, your password protected portfolio category. But if once they've um, decided whether or not to work with you, you may want to revoke their access. So you can easily do that uh, by clicking on the minus. It says, are you sure you want to remove this password? Yes. So that's how you would use multiple categories. And then you simply click add new category. You can see it's appeared in the list of categories with um, the visibility column set to password protected. Now, before we start adding projects to this protected category, I'm just gonna show you how to um, create more complex stra category structures by adding a subcategory, which will also be protected. The really neat thing about the password protected categories plugin is that when you add a subcategory of a password protected category, it will automatically be protected with the same password. That's really good because it means that your um, potential client or whoever's viewing it doesn't have to enter a password for every page they view, um, which is much more user friendly for them. Once they've entered the password once, whether it's on when they've tried to access an individual project or the category page or subcategory, any of that, wherever they've entered the correct password, everything within that section is unlocked for them. So that's brilliant. So let's create a protected subcategory. Protected subcategory. And for the parent, I want to choose my protected category. That's all I need to do. I want to leave the visibility set to public because that is what tells the password protected categories plugin to use the same password as its parent. You don't need, don't password protect the subcategories because that will happen automatically. So we just click add new category and you can see from this line that that is a subcategory of the password protected category. So even though this says public, it's actually password protected because it falls under this one. And that's everything you need to do to create your password protected categories. And you can see that it sits at the same level as the public portfolio. That's what we want. Now we're gonna to go to the page in the WordPress admin which lists all my portfolio posts. And I'm gonna put some of them within the password protected category. So I'll take it out of the public category and I'll put some of them in the subcategory, some in the protected category, you know, just to show you how they all work in a minute. And I'll just put that one in the subcategory on its own. If you accidentally put one in a public category and a protected category, it will be password protected. So that keeps everything secure in case you make a mistake. So we now have some posts within our password protected category. And before we start testing, I'm just going to show you how to add links to your password protected category if you choose to do so. So I'm going to go to appearance menus. And here we've got my standard navigation menu, which at the moment has my main public portfolio as a link. Um, you may only want to link to your public portfolio. You may not want people to even know that you have a private portfolio too, which is fine. But if you do, then, oh, that's not what I want. Then if you do, then you can add it to your menu. So what I'm gonna do is go to the portfolio category section and I'm going to choose my protected category and the subcategory and put them in the menu. So as usual with WordPress, it puts them at the bottom and you have to drag them into place to create the relevant drop downs. Let's save the menu and then we're going to have a look at the website and see the changes. So you might remember that at the beginning of this uh, tutorial, all you could see 
was the main portfolio, which is here. So that, do you remember it had six in before? It now only has three because I've put some of them within the protected category. So this only shows the public posts. Um, so at the moment, you can't see the items that I just added to the menu. The reason for that is that I ticked the I unticked the box to show my protected content on the public parts of the site. So that's because of that box. So I'm going to show you a little workaround now to make that link appear within the menu, which is not at the moment. So we're going to go back to the menus page. And I'm also going to go back to the portfolio categories page just to get just to grab the link. So I'm going to go view copy link address. So what I'm doing here is just I'm getting the link for my protected category. And then in menus, I'm going to go custom links. I'm going to add a link to private portfolio. And I'll add that to the menu. So I'm just going to put that there. And I'm going to do the same thing for my subcategory. So I'm just going to grab the link, go to custom links instead of adding it through portfolio categories and private sub category and we'll add that to the menu there so now in the portfolio section you can see i've got my public category i've got the custom links i added and i've got the portfolio category links so let's see how that looks on the front end of our website now right so now it's appearing because the custom links work. The, I'll show you how it differs in a minute again when we've logged in, but now we have some links to log into. So let's click on private portfolio. Here is the login screen, and this is the message that I entered on the settings page a minute ago. And my password was password987, and let's log into that. So that has unlocked the private portfolio with the three posts inside it. If I wanted to navigate to a post, I could do so, and I'm not going to be asked for the password. Um, that's because um, the plugin has unlocked everything within my private portfolio categories. And I'm gonna to go to the subcategory. It's not gonna ask me for a password, again, because I've already unlocked that whole area. So it's really user-friendly. The public people won't be able to see it or they'll be asked for a password. Once you've entered it, you can just navigate where you want within it. But the other thing you'll notice is that now I've entered the correct password, both links are showing. Um, the custom link I added and also the um, link I added using, I'll just go back to it, the portfolio category section. So that shows you two methods of adding links to your menu. If you want the public to be able to see it, use custom links. If you only want the menu items to appear after somebody has unlocked your private portfolio area, then use um, the actual categories and drag them over. So that's two ways to add to the menu. Now, uh, before we finish, I'll just give you a couple more tips, but we are nearly done. So the first tip is that if you wanted multiple password protected categories for different clients, you could do that. Let's go back to the admin. We're going to go to portfolio categories again. If I wanted to create another hidden category, for, for example, I might want to have a different um, industries with different projects. So I might want to give a potential client from the construction industry the construction password to just show the projects within that section. I might want to give a client from the design industry the password for the design category. So you could do that. And what you do is instead of adding it as a child, you add it as a top level, so no parent. And then you add the password, click add new category. And when you've done that, yeah, there it is. Um, because it's at the same level, it's not a child like this one. You can have a separate password for it and give that password to different people. So it just gives you a bit more flexibility. And finally, I'm going to show you how to add a widget, which will allow people to log in via the sidebar if you want them to do that. 
So at the moment, the only way for people to log in is to click on a link to a password protected category. Um, you can also use a login widget. So, or, you, or actually you can add the login form anywhere on your site using the same method. So we go to appearance widgets and I'm gonna create a normal text widget. Looking for it now, that text, and I'm gonna drag it to my main sidebar area. There we go, so I'm gonna put it at the top of my main sidebar. And I'm gonna enter a short code here, category underscore login within square brackets, and I'm gonna save it. This short code will add a login form for your protected categories anywhere you want on the site. So you can also add it within pages, posts, wherever. So let's see what that looks like now. I'm going to log in and there's the login form. Enter your password to unlock our private portfolio. That's the same text that we entered on the settings page, but if you look at the plugin documentation, you can add a custom message for your individual login forms too. And that's it. We've covered loads in this tutorial and you now know how to create private sections of your portfolio which will work alongside your public portfolio. That's useful for lots of reasons and will help you to showcase your work to the clients who you want to see your projects. I hope that was helpful to you. So to get started, you need to get the Password Protected Categories plugin from our website barn2.co.uk. Uh, it comes with full documentation and a year's support from us. And um, let me know how you get on with it.